What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and it is the time for the update. Uh, I did wake up pretty early, so I was able to get up to level 87 um, pretty quickly. And that has something to do with actually the EXP that they're giving. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is get through all the stuff that the update is um, giving us. Uh, and also some of the stuff that you guys might want to know about the update uh, and how to access these type of things. So first thing I want to actually point out is that um, they are gonna they increase the gem spawn uh, rates um, of SSR and SR items as you can see. Appearance rate of SS of SR and SSR items increase in gem spawns. This increase is permanent and not a limited time rate up. So they did increase the spawns, and my friend's saying that um, the spawns are up. I'm not sure how much percentage they are up, but he's saying that he got like a SSR and two URable uh, weapons from a weapon spawn earlier, from a 30 weapon spawn, so um, that's pretty good, or a 30 uh, gem spawn rather. So let's go ahead and click in to this uh, large scale update and see exactly what uh, it's talking about five new classes are revealed so let's go ahead and go back into the classes I actually did already complete my class quest um, so I know all about it I'm going to tell you about it now so I went in Archer and um, you actually have to have a specific um, thing specific things uh, for the Archer so you have to complete both of these uh, actual trees um, you have to complete the Lancer the second uh, circle right here. This whole thing has to be completed as well as the mage the second uh, circle here So this these two have to be completed and then the Lancer these two have to be completed So high Lancer has to be completed the whole circle and sorcerer also has to be completed. Okay so just uh, know that for Archer um, so those two circles has to be completed and then you have to do a uh, sub quest which actually uh, you get access to after you beat the full on um, last part of the storyline so this is going to be the last part of the story and I, as you can see I cleared all the gems already but uh, this is it the uh, uh, the immortality sorry um, the 48 rank last quest and the boss is pretty easy it's just a tank and spank he does like a AOE attack um, nothing really crazy about it just use your unison I would suggest using um, two buff and then the rest should be you could do haste or damage doesn't really matter as long as you have two Valkyries in there that give you a high buff or like say two uh, choo choos those uh, green guys that give you buffs um, and heals that would be good too so as long as you got buffs you can kill it pretty easily getting back into the uh, actual uh, classes here something that's very very important to know is uh, these actual skills that you're getting say from marksman um, this is pretty much uh, a lethal strike right but the catch is it doesn't actually stack with the skills that uh, lethal would so heart of the dead eye doesn't actually affect um, imaginary shot which is pretty bad for me because I have all bows that are uh, Heart of the Deadeye so in this situation uh, you would want to stack all Fatal Testament bows or say if you're a mage you want to have you would want to have Magic Testament uh, every all stabs etc um, etc et so you would you don't want anything from the old uh, system which is pretty much all I have for my archer like this actually I don't think even the, the even the gun um, yeah the, even the gun doesn't go with the new skills which is pretty bad uh, so all of these bows here have to be replaced or I have to stick with the old skills which is pretty just sucks for me um, and the mage, my mage has like two fatal staffs, so I might even go back to mage. Uh, it's not a fatal staff, it's a magic testament staff. So I have two magic testament staffs on my mage. Um, so it's like that one already has two staffs, and these and this uh, this bow set either has to be totally redone, or I have to go back uh, to just using high circle snipe and lethal strikes. So 
it's really up in the air of what I'm about to do right now. Uh, it really depends on what kind of spawns I get from these new spawns. So that's very important to know, guys. Um, as far as the subquest to bake you into a different uh, the, the advanced class, uh, you would just go to quests and then uh, regular quests, go to subquests, and then uh, it would be in here. And then you'd you know t take the quest list and then. I don't I know skip that or I don't really do this but you go in here and then you complete all that and then once you complete all of these uh, you get the ring or whatever the amulet or whatever it's called um, the relic right so you, you defeat all this stuff uh, you come you uh, come back into subquest and collect it because you're gonna have to collect it right here right and then you go into your menu go to your items here and it'll show up in your items uh, right here and then you use it like it'll say like use like this and then you say yes do you want to use yes and you use it um, and then it unlocks the class and then uh, to complete the proficiency for the whole ring they're saying it's 23k um, or 22k something like that 22k proficiency so that's about it for that. Um, as, as as far as the encyclopedia keys, you get en uh, encyclopedia keys uh, from the very beginning when you log in. Like you log in, they're like, hey, like give me. You get like a little prize right here. You click on the prize, uh, and then you you can actually get 15 encyclopedia keys. And how you activate the keys is you go into here, and then you go into the cosmetics. And then you uh, switch out instead of held here, you switch it out into Encyclopedia. Then, if you wanted to unlock a specific um, item, you would unlock it here from your Encyclopedia. And some people might be thinking, "Oh, why would I want to do that?" Well, it's because um, you say say you have a, a whole uh, inventory or a whole gear locker full of items, right? Um, like such as these, uh, you. And, and there are some are like plus items like this one right here. I, I, I use that a lot in my uh, on my cosmetics. So like let's go ahead and just do a little quick tutorial of why uh, you would do this. So you go into here, go into your cosmetics, hit the rare. Uh, sorry, hit the encyclopedia. Hit to uh, rare, and then I'm looking for the scythe, right? Um, should be around here somewhere. So this is it, right? And then it says. I'm gonna use one of my encyclopedia keys to get one of these, uh, the scythe, and then I'm like, yes, I would like that, and then you're like, oh, okay, cool, I have the scythe now on, right? Because uh, I like this how the scythe looks. So you go back into your gear, uh, sorry, not gear sets, your gear locker. You can retrieve now that scythe that you had just sitting in your inventory, and now I have like one more slot, right? So I go back into my inventory. I'm gonna augment that staff now into um, my Alice, right? My secondary Alice. So uh, go here. Go sort by rarity, and then I'm just gonna put all the pluses in here since I'm at it anyway. So there it goes. Now I don't have any other size that look like that, remember, uh, or have any of them, so I should go to plus 28. Wait, I know what I'm going to get this group to the cosmic slot. Has been okay, that's that's a bug right there actually that I just found. So you can't augment it as long as it's selected even though you have it in your encyclopedia unlock, right? So that should be, that shouldn't be there. That shouldn't happen, but I, at least I found that out. So let's go back into here, take my cosmetic, um, off of it, uh, let's see, held, alright, so I'm sorting by URs, boom, now I can go ahead and do that thing that I was going to do, but I have to reselect all my pluses, so boom, boom, and boom, got it, augment that, yes, I would like to augment it, going to 28, right? And then I should be able to go back into this gear slot and, ooh, okay, oh, just right here, sorry. I almost, I was like, what, what's going on here? So this is it, uh, that is there, so that works. 
So I do not have any more of those items in my inventory. However, I do I'm able to use it if I wanted to, and I, maybe I'll keep it on because it does look pretty cool. So I was gonna say, um, yeah. So basically, you're just freeing up gear space, um, and you can buy more of them if if you want. I believe here. Oh uh, yeah, encyclopedia key. So it's, I guess it's one gem. Oh, it's five. Okay, so you get one gem to obtain five keys. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, but basically, it's just one gem for five spots in your inventory. Uh, so that's pretty much just buying extra slots, as if you were, because um, you know, if you want to have that many cosmetics, you don't have to keep all of those cosmetics in your inventory anymore. You can actually use uh, the encyclopedia key, and now you can use your cosmetics anytime you want. So that is what that is about. Um, while we're in this screen, I'm also going to talk about the gear uh, cost reset. So you can actually buy um, these scrolls of gear cost reset. And as you can see, uh, two gems for one cost in each slot, right? So it's it's two gems for four costs, but one of one's uh, cost per the slot of your four slots. So you put, you spend this um, right here. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys. Should I? It'll. It's no. You know what? I'm gonna wait um, till I'm level 80, so I can really know ex or really uh, level 90, so I can really know exactly how much I need. And I would suggest doing that uh, as well for you guys, unless you're like in dire need to use it right now. But um, I would say wait till you're 90, and then. Uh, use it but basically you're gonna spend two gems and it's gonna take one out of each slot okay and you're gonna have four uh, costs so that's how that works um, so one out of each of these boom 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 uh, it would be 129 uh, one uh, it would be 58 uh, 104 and 138 okay and then you would keep those four uh, costs so that remaining cost here would be would be five all right um, I think what else do I need to talk about here um, talked about the keys okay yeah um, so looks like got this gear set encyclopedia good oh yeah so this is very important guys you need to start leveling as soon as possible um, or I mean you have until the 17th in, uh, but 50% more gold and 50% EXP um, gains for this this whole uh, period, the end of maintenance, uh, and this is going to be a long period where you can get up to level 90. So, best time to level uh, and grind is right now, as well as even if you wanted to make an alternative character or an alt character, the rates remember in the gems are boosted, EXP is boosted, and gold is boosted. So, making an alternative character or an alt is going to be very easy at this uh, stage in the game um, so I would suggest if you, if you want to make an alt this is a good time to do it uh, also you can roll on the new gear set items and if you get like three or four of them then you can start off uh, a low level character and have all the super good weapons for him already set you know what I mean and then uh, like I don't even have those weapons right now and I'm level 85 so I need to reroll on all those weapons but then again I have like a bunch of Alice's and stuff that you can't get um, now but you know you can get the weapons so whatever if you guys are like level 40 or 50 you might think about doing that and you don't have a, like a lot of Alice's or something that uh, happened in the last patch you definitely want to go ahead and do that now uh, reroll and get all those good good weapons and all that good stuff that's coming from those um the new update so um also there's these this new skill that's out now and these armors so i'll talk about that it's going to be a passive defense uh physical defense and passive magic defense um armors and how on your helmet on your armors and helmets and it explains it here it's, it's a little bit confusing here but it, I, it seems as if you could only have two activated at once 
It says skills are randomly selected from the main and sub gear equipped for each of the weapon and helmet armor gear slots. When two or more gear pieces with skills that can be activated are equipped to main slots, the two skills that will be activated will be shown from this pool. So it's it seems like the two skills that will be activated. So it's only like you can only have two activated at once. So as long as you have one of the magic and one of the physical, you don't need any more of them. If as long as they're your you are, and one is one of them is a um, physical and one of them is magic. And what I'm talking about right there is actually. Uh, these here and when I t uh, right here ma massively reduces physical damage taking constant effect so you can see that in your boosts uh, on your top left here when you're in game so you need one of those and I believe the this no that wasn't it Re massively reduces magic damage taking constant effect so magic armor up XL and then you would want the physical armor up XL I believe so yeah there it is so those two skills you want one of each of those for sure on your slots because that's gonna make you tankier and most likely um, it's gonna be like you have to have it to survive guild battles now nowadays because the damage is increased the uh, gear cost is increased the monster slots are increased everything is higher damage so that's why they probably put this into balance pvp a little bit more so just something to think about guys you definitely want to pop one of those uh, at least two of those on and there should be one magic and one physical so let's see what else i can uh discuss here it looks like i'm done with this page let's go ahead and get on to the next uh thing here um yes uh, the class spawns. I am going to be doing class spawns after this video and I'll link it to you guys right here down below um, and it'll be I'll probably do uh, two um, Archer and two mage and then I will also do a, a roll for a 30 a 30 roll on these so as you can see um, what I was talking about earlier Heart of the uh, Phantom XL uh, on the bow, and chances chance to massively increase the effect of marksman ability imaginary shot. So I actually have imaginary shot on my person right now, um, but I'm not using it because the actual um, Heart of the Dead Eye bows, which I have four of them, and the gun do not even affect imaginary shot. Imaginary shot's really really good. Um, it's not it's actually not as good as lethal I don't think um, because well actually I guess it, it probably is probably better because you have to use hunt before using this so imaginary shot probably is better um, but it does randomly choose which uh, damage it does magical physical so you know it's a toss-up which one's better lethal or imaginary shot but for me 100% lethal and even high circle snipe is better just because they proc on my weapons so I can't even put this in right now which is pretty annoying and pretty just uh, it's just aggravating to me at this point because I have all these bows that I I got for the character and I thought that this might um, like I thought translate they didn't they forgot to translate oh yeah it's also like you know the same thing as lethal like the dead eye will proc with it but it actually don't doesn't do that at all so that kind of made me mad a little bit about um, how you need to buy a, a whole new set of gear to actually be able to get that but you know that's how it works out and I'm guessing they're gonna put like this is like the beginning of like to look going to a, like level 100 and they're making new gears so that's like this is the beginning gear that we're on right now and then the the next leg is like the top tier gear um, so that's just how it goes so I'm just thinking um, I'm probably gonna do those spawns really quick uh, like not right now but right after this video so I can show you guys uh, what kind of spawns they're they're talking about and uh, they're saying that there's a lot more um, 
SSR and SR rates boosted, but uh, we shall see. We'll put that to the test. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see if I have anything else to talk about before we let you guys go on your journey. Okay, yeah, no, uh, um, I actually um, just wanted to tell you guys how to actually start from the beginning of the game. Like right when you get in, uh, if you if you're watching this video, like maybe at um, you know on the on at work or at class or whatever, and you're you're not having started it yet. First thing you want to do when you get into the game uh, is you have uh, like say ten or five or ten gems, right? Uh, first thing you want to do, go into your quest, hit your quests, and uh, make sure you have uh, five friends, right? Or as many friends as you can you can muster. I had two with me, and I went through the whole game, a whole uh, new set of quests with them. So you want to get them in like a chat, like in your guild, and make sure they're on your friends list. And then I would go uh, friend quests. Make sure those guys are uh, ready to go in that chat. Uh, do the first uh, quest right here. And then make sure your friends, like you change your friends, like this is who I was uh, going with quick and I was going with uh, Bard. So you get your friends in here right there, confirm and then make sure they're ready and then you go in like that and then that way you guys can progress to the quest. But first first thing you want to do before you begin is you want to hit your EXP boost. So um, right now, I'm not going to do it right now just because I'm about to do some spawns after this and uh, chill for a little bit and then I'll probably go hard and try to get to level 90. But um, but you guys definitely want to hit both the EXP boost and the gold boost because remember we're doing 50% for the whole weekend. So I would suggest if you could, like as long as you're about to go to 90, uh, you might as well just boost all the way. EXP boost all the way, gold boost all the way up to 90. So that's what I would suggest. I don't know if you guys uh, would be able to do that or not. Or if, say if you're doing like 30 minute sessions, just do the EXP boost, go boost for 30 minutes and then you can take a break. You know, if you don't want to go hardcore on it. But if you want to go hardcore on it, I would just say just keep going back to back to back to back. I did like two hours straight of it just going back to back EXP boost and go boost until I finished the whole set of quests, did my whole set of subquests, got the arch archer uh, new class, and then I did a, like a couple more because it was left over, like 20 minutes left over from my XP and go boost. So got to like 87 and I have 20% of my XP in here. So I should be level 90 by the end of today or tomorrow. So depending on how hard I want to go or if I actually go, I'm supposed to go do some errands today, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> so um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Looks like that's about it for this one. Um, you know what? I I uh, I actually uh, wanted to talk about real quick before we end is actually like there's this bug where um, in the sub quest uh, where you're doing your your these trials right here um, you can't actually go in with your friends um, but you can join other people's randomly you can't even uh, see your friends in help friends like say somebody's doing the sub quest for their class and you're like okay let's go together let's like the friend quest isn't working let's go I'll just you go and then I'll go and help friends and then I'll just try to join that doesn't even work you actually have to have your friend go into his sub quest uh, just like that um, okay like he goes in let's say I'm him right he goes in here and he clicks it and then he just goes in right he's in and then he says and he you he types to you and guild this is how we did it um, he types to you and guild like I'm in right and then he it presses enter right and then it goes I'm in and then you see it then you you yourself go into this the same quest that he's on currently and then you begin quest and then it sticks you guys together so that's literally the only way that me and my friend were able to actually make this happen so I think that's just a bug for right now uh, but that's the way you guys can do it so that's how I did it and I think that you guys can replicate it if um, if you try so I think I cover everything but uh, I'm not 100% sure so if you guys have any questions on the new patch or anything like that definitely put it in the comments below 
I will get to those comments as soon as I possibly can and um, yeah I think uh, if you guys can like the video if you liked it or it helped you out at all that'd be great uh, also subscribe and uh, definitely put some comments down there if you guys um, can uh, I think that's it so as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace